Hi, I'm Chris Haig and this is the Fiddle Channel and today we're going to play The Musical Priest. Irish reel in the key of B minor, which you may think is an uncommon key, but it's the relative minor of D major, which is of course a very common key, which means to say that the fingering is actually very easy. Um, this tune is actually derived from a Strathspe written by William Marshall called the Belhelvy House, and uh, it's obviously undergone some uh, change in order to get to where it is now, but that's where it started out. Uh, I'm going to give you two versions of the tune, a nice simple version and then an ornamented version. I would recommend that you start off by putting your first finger on the B note and then put your second finger on the F sharp note, keeping both there, and then move from one to the other. So going from there... Now I'll just draw your attention to the second bar of that. We've got a triplet. Now this could be played as a slurred triplet, which is really pretty easy. Or it could be played as a bowed triplet, also known as a treble. And here you play the notes quite a lot shorter and with a, a slight tensing of the arm. I suggest you go around that bar a few times like this. And those notes you can see are really short. They're, they're no more than about a centimetre. Okay, into the final section. that I'm not giving you any bowing with this. Um, I have done various videos on Irish bowing that will give you some general principles such as trying to start a bar on a down bow unless you have a good reason not to and adding one or two slurs here and there. Uh, so let's do all of that with the backing. So in the first bar we have a cut. 
So the melody note is a first finger, and we're flicking a third finger on the D note. But it's so fast and it's so light that you don't actually hear. You don't hear that. All you hear is a disturbance of the note. And that's called a cut or an uppercut because it's from an upper note, and that occurs um, again in the third bar. So going from the beginning. And that has the um, dual purpose of separating those two notes and also emphasizing the second one. If you were playing slurred, then obviously you wouldn't hear that third note at all. But putting, the, um, putting that cut in just breaks the note up and allows you to hear the third note. Okay, as a variation. We have um, a roll on the fifth bar. Okay, then it's into the uh, third line. Another roll there. So the roll is but done with most of the notes staying on the first part, and then a very fast turnaround for the other notes. Fast succession, we have another roll uh, starting the next section. And we have another cut with the fourth finger here. Again, it has the purpose of emphasizing the repeat of that note. I'm just going to point out a variation. that This was recorded by James Morrison, the Sligo, New York fiddler, who recorded in the early part of the 20th century. And he did, on the C section, that instead of the... So that first line there would be... And he also did a roll like that as a variation on that. So if you prefer that version then have a listen to uh, James Morrison's and if you like that then that's the one way to add his bit of playing. And also he swung this. Uh, most of the versions that I've heard nowadays people have played straight i.e. the eighth notes are all equal but he played with quite a distinct swing. Let's play all of that with the um, ornaments. If you enjoyed this and found it useful, if you would like a copy of the PDF then do subscribe and send me an email. If you would like, a, uh, if you'd like to receive all of my PDFs uh, as they come out, then if you join me on Patreon there's a mailing list which will allow you to do that. And you can also download a single zip file with all of my previous PDFs, which I think is close to 300 of them now. Uh, so uh, have a look at Patreon if you're interested in that. I'll play you out with a full speed musical priest and I'll see you again soon.